governor announced the end to COVID restrictions, he also put an expiration date on the state of emergency, June 15th. That means dozens of orders will expire. WBZ's Lisa Hughes joins us back in studio now. And Lisa, some of those orders that were implemented brought about changes we might want to keep around. Yeah, Paula, those changes opened up opportunities for medicine, restaurants, and civic engagement. So let's start with public meetings and hearings, which went virtual. From the MBTA to school meetings, just about everything went on Zoom. And some of us may want to be done with Zoom for a while. But some city councils and town boards may want to keep that remote participation option and state lawmakers may want to keep it too. Then there's telemedicine and telehealth. They were widely used over the past 14 months. Patients found it convenient and safer, saving them time from traveling and saving them from sitting in waiting rooms. In January, Governor Baker signed a law making sure that it will remain well after the pandemic, but the section of the law requiring insurance companies to cover telehealth services at the same rate as in-person care expires 90 days after the emergency order ends. And then there's restaurants. Take Takeout and delivery orders truly helped some restaurants survive the pandemic. And the approval for the sale of beer, wine, and cocktails to go made a huge difference. Lawmakers also put a cap on the fees that delivery services like DoorDash and Grubhub could charge restaurants. And restaurant owners are now pushing to extend both. The House Speaker and the Senate President have asked for a full list of pandemic era policies that are set to expire or change when the state of emergency is lifted. And they'll probably have to take action to make more of those emergency orders permanent. Anna Ritis. Lisa, a lot of good information there. Thank you a lot.